Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Tonight I want to talk about a case that didn't get much coverage about a young lady who lost her life way too soon. Her name was Dominique Ben David. I'm going to read the article and I'm going to give my opinion on the facts. A New York City man has been indicted in a deadly 48-hour hostage ordeal involving two women and a toddler. Throughout the two-day nightmare, he allegedly choked one woman who was pregnant and beat the other to death, all while his three-year-old son was in the apartment. A 31-year-old Bronx man named Anthony Portis allegedly beat his girlfriend and the mother of his child for two days while his little boy was present. The mother and child escaped, but the girlfriend was left to die. Prosecutors stated her badly decomposed body wasn't discovered until more than a month later. According to the investigation, Portis allegedly went to the building where the mother of his child, 26-year-old Nazinga Keys, lived on March 2, 2020. He was in the hallway with his neighbors and his girlfriend, 22-year-old Dominique Ben David, when Keys arrived with a three-year-old son. Portis allegedly pushed them and Ben David into Keys' apartment and refused to let them leave the residence for two days. Throughout the 48 hours, Portis allegedly beat and choked Keys, who was pregnant, and brutally beat Ben David. Keys managed to flee the apartment with her son two days later as Portis slept. She didn't report the incident to police immediately, though. Prosecutors stated she didn't have an explanation for why she didn't do this. The child apparently wasn't hurt. More than a month later, on April 10th, detectives went to the apartment to speak with Keys about Portis. When they approached, they saw the door was open and smelled the odor of a decomposing body. They went inside and found Ben David's body. It wasn't clear where Keys had been during the time between her escape and when detectives found the body of Portis's girlfriend in her home. An autopsy found Ben David suffered two fractures to each side of her neck. The cause of her death was classified as homicidal violence. In addition to murdering and kidnapping charges, Portis is accused of manslaughter, burglary, assault, and endangering the welfare of a child. He was remanded and is due back in court in November. He faces up to life in prison if convicted of the top charges against him. No attorney information for Portis was immediately available. And therein lies the end of the article. So this story is very sad. This was a beautiful young girl who had her whole life ahead of her, but sadly suffered from low self-esteem, chose the wrong person, and it took her off this planet Earth. This girl was in a three-way relationship with a guy who had a child with another woman, and they were both his girlfriend, I guess. And to me, anybody that's doing that or that is in that situation suffers from low self-esteem. There is no one in their right mind that would be with a person who has to put them second to anyone. So both of them were second to him. So again, this is a cautionary tale of what choosing the wrong person can do to you. This girl died a brutal death. She was beat to death, basically, but in a very heinous way. She suffered from homicidal violence. That means that she was basically... um. I guess you can say like bludgeoned. You can kind of phrase it in that way. So that's a very horrific way to die. She also had her arms eaten by rats. She died in a horrible, horrible way. Very, very sad. She didn't deserve what happened to her and she didn't deserve to die like this. But the way that she lived was another indicator of why this may have happened to her. She had a very tumultuous situation with her family growing up. She was a runaway at a young age. And she sadly never found the love that it is that she was looking for in this world. And she went along with someone who didn't deserve her. And once again, sadly, this is the end outcome. The other girl that was involved in this situation escaped with her child, but left uh Dominique there so I assume there was some type of um, hatred against her or against the other girl between her because I can't imagine that would be a good situation when you in an uh, abusive situation and there's three parties involved so yeah very very sad this beautiful girl um, just like a lot of beautiful girls who choose the wrong person or people in their life they end up um, experiencing more of the sorrow that they've been trying to get away from instead of being closer to the happiness it is that they seek. Because the happiness that one would seek is not going to come from somebody else. It's going to come from within you. But when you can't see the value within yourself, you look for it outside of yourself. And sadly, you meet people that are giving you the opposite of that. And this is what happened in this situation. 
beautiful young lady. May she rest in peace. I know that she's in a better place. And the love that she desired and looks for on this planet Earth, wherever she's at now, I know that she has it at this time. Fly high, dear angel. You didn't deserve the fate that you met. And I'm going to say to anyone else that um, is in a situation with someone that might not be the best pick for them in this life is to move on move on with your life love does not harm love does not hurt and love does not leave you unconscious okay so the moral of the story is to pick your people wisely choose wisely some choices have consequences that you can't walk away from and sadly they can lead you to your demise before your time Stay safe, everybody. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one.